Hey, welcome to the tutorial on how to make an EVE API. Okay, so the API is used for uh, several things, right? Uh, access to mobile, TeamSpeak, uh, your alliance forums, your corp forums, uh, wormhole tracking tools, fitting tools, and skill plans. Okay, so you'll be asked for an API if you're looking to join a corp. It's it's a regular process in EVE. Uh, it's just to weed out the bad from the good and the good from the bad, etc. Um, just to see if you're not a spy as such. Uh, there is one thing that people do think, and it just doesn't happen, it can't happen. People do think that, you know, from making an API, you're giving people an access to steal your account, which, no, that doesn't happen, okay? Just forget about that. They can't do that, all right? So enough about that. So in order to make the API, you need to go to account management, all right? and click the support tab and go to API key management. So that'll bring you to this logon screen. So you're gonna put in your details. So once you've logged in, you'll come to this page here. So obviously this is a, an account I haven't have any APIs on. So you're gonna click here, all right? So you're gonna name your API. So I'm gonna name it how to make an API. All right, so most corps will ask for a full API. So that will be full, as in like all characters. So make sure it's all characters there. Type character. If you have corporations, they'll ask for corporations as well. You're going to want to make it non-expiry. So click the no expiry. And to make it full, literally just click all of these here. All right. And then submit at the bottom. Now. For tracker tools and fitting tools and skill plans, they'll only ask for certain aspects. So it won't be like a full one. It'll be like your skill standings, um, all those sort of things, contacts and stuff like that. They'll all be included in that. But anyways, that's for another day. Like, obviously, if you know how to make a full API, you'll know how to make everything else. Um, Sometimes you'll get a, a link that will bring you to, straight to the page and it'll already have all of these boxes ticked. You'll just have to literally just name it and just sign in, obviously. So that's handy. Some people do that. Uh, you just click Submit. And there is your API. So you get your key ID and your verification code. They're the only two parts that people will ask you for. And they'll be used into a tracker or a little like um, program. Uh, I'm gonna just use a program that I know from years of using. Um, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Right, so this is the program that I'm gonna show you. It's a Jackknife, API Jackknife. Uh, anybody can use it. Uh, I'm not sure if it's fully updated, but I don't think it is, obviously. But uh, it still works. So you're gonna wanna take your key ID and then your um, verification code. And click Remember API if you want, and it'll just get you your characters. Okay, now, see? It shows you the name, obviously. Great name, huh? Uh, your skill points, your money, security, when you were born, how old you are, what ship you're in, where you're located. Now, it shows you all your skills as well. Obviously, I haven't got many skills because I just literally made this to account for the tutorial because I don't want to see my main account. Ooh. Uh, you know, it has all these different tabs, skills, mails. Uh, I randomly mail the person, see, and there you go. You can um, jump into these mails and it'll show you, you know, um, it'll show you the string of mails uh, up to 30 days or something. Uh, it'll show your contacts as well. Uh, I just set some people blue and red, orange and neutral. Uh, obviously, the guy that I set orange is coming up as red, but okay. Uh, it'll show your notifications, the assets that people own, journal transaction transactions is usually the good one there. It'll show you all that you know that person's bought and money. And let's say if they're being paid to be a spy, it'll show the money coming in by that person, so you can you know key out that it is a spy and just say sorry dude not this time you know uh, it just shows everything and contracts as well 
Uh, it'll, it'll, you know, when you're doing the the interview process, it will um, it will just show you like uh, certain things to ask about. You know, it'll show trades and stuff like that. See, uh, and just like market orders and everything. Like it's a handy wee tool. Um, not many people know how to do it, and so you know, I just thought I'd sort of help people out by doing this. So um, yeah, that was it. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, it helps me a lot. All right, see you guys. Bye.